Hello. I had an email asking if there was any way of compensating or dealing with magnetic declination when you're using one of these, which is a Kamenga lens attic compass. The simple answer is yes, <laughs> it's quite simple. Um, and because a picture speaks a thousand words, rather than typing them a reply email and explaining exactly how to do it, I thought I'd make a little video and I'll send them a copy of this. And you can watch it as well if you want. Now, I know that on the Kamenga website, it explains how to deal with magnetic declination um, using these H3 compasses, but their method involves rotating the map in certain directions and putting your compass in certain directions and turning the map and the compass at the same time and that may be uh, okay and those methods do work because I've actually used them, I've tested them and they do work fine. But for trekking and navigation we don't need to be that exact. Within one or two degrees is fine. So there is a way and I'll go through it now. What I'll do is I've got a map here. I've always got a map, <laughs> my job. So what I'll do is I'll, dro I'll drop this onto your screen and then we'll uh, quickly go through it. So let's say that I want to go from this track and wall junction here and I want to go in a straight line for some reason across to this uh, summit here at uh, 0.617. So well, I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see exactly what's going on. So here you go, hopefully you can see this now. So it's touch, the edge of the compass is touching the wall and the track junction and the edge is also touching 0.617 which is there. Okay, so the compass is now set on the map. I'll try not to move it. All we're going to do is we're going to rotate the compass until the tritium mark, which is this, the tritium indicator, is pointing straight up the map. It's, it's pointing north. Okay, let's just check that it's touching both points and the tritium mark is now pointing north. So to, if we were to follow a compass bearing normally, all we'd do, if you've got a lens attic compass, I'm sorry about teaching you the stuff that you already know, all we do is rotate it until the north end of the magnetic needle is directly underneath the tritium mark and then we follow in that direction so we walk towards the wire as they say. Now let's assume that we've got a magnetic declination of 15 degrees west, that's a good one, doesn't really matter what it is. Now here's the thing, if you've got a lens attic compass write this next sentence down, west is anti-clockwise, east is clockwise. I'll demonstrate, so west is anti-clockwise, east is clockwise. Anti-clockwise, clockwise. It's the way that you rotate the bezel, okay? So I've, I've put it back in, so it's reset here. Normally we'd go that way. Let's say we've got our bearing of 15 degrees west, so we need to rotate the dial five clicks because each click on the Kamenga, once again, you already know this if you've got one, but each click is three degrees if you don't own one and you're not used to them. So to get our 15 degrees west declination, we need to click this, rotate it five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And then all we do is rotate the whole compass until the north end of the magnetic needle is underneath the tritium mark again, and we walk in that direction. Okay, so have you got that? So that's how you set the magnetic declination on a Kamenga lens attic compass. Now, here's the thing. As I've just said, each time you rotate the bezel on these Kamenga compasses, they move three degrees. So if it's, you want a three, if you say you've got a six degree west declination, you would click it twice anti-clockwise. If you've got a six degree east declination, then you would click it twice clockwise. It's really simple. But here's the thing. What happens if you've got something that isn't divisible by three? Let's say you've got a declination of 10 degrees west. Now, this isn't official and I'm just guessing it's just my personal opinion, so it may be wrong. I would suggest what you do is you go to the nearest number that you can do. So if, it, if your declination was 10 degrees, then you would go to nine. If your declination was 17 degrees, then you would go to 18. When you're walking and trekking, there isn't the uh, consuming need to be exact to, to, the, uh, to one degree. It's, it really doesn't make any difference, one or two degrees, when you're walking and trekking. Obviously, 
these compasses are designed for a um, a certain certain use in a certain uh, how can I put it? Operating theatre? Is, is that a good way of putting it? And in that case, one degree either way can have very serious consequences. But when you're walking and trekking, one or two degrees isn't going to make any difference. But anyway, so hopefully you now know how to set a magnetic declination using a uh, Kamenga lens added compass. Don't forget, if you've got a westerly declination, you rotate anti-clockwise. If you've got an easterly declination, you rotate clockwise. Thanks for watching.